everyone. I'm going to read you a story with my cat Florence. It's all about somebody who had a worry. We all worry sometimes, don't we? If it's okay, shall we find out what happened to Ruby in the story of Ruby's worry? It's by somebody called Tom Percival. He's written some fantastic books. There's Ruby, look. Ruby's worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. She loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. It was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise that she was doing the worst thing you could ever do with a worry. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half of the school bus and it took up whole rows of the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about and it seemed like she'd never feel happy again. And one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone in the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be? Was it a worry? It was. Ruby realised she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind and he told her and the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you could ever do with a worry. The words tumbled out. Ruby's worry began to shrink till it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now she knew how to get rid of them. And you do too now, don't you? And they never hung around for long. Did you enjoy that, Florence? I think she did. Now, if you ever have a worry, 
remember, talk to somebody about it and it eventually might go and get smaller. Thanks for listening.